what is a player to do? Sometimes you just got to go from catching this on the field to coaching it right here on the sidelines. I think the, the bats will catch up as the weather gets warm, if that happens. We hope. <laughs> <laughs> if, the, you know, it gets warm, they'll, they'll pick it up. But, yeah, pitching is, is going to carry you through. And the way you start is important because if you have a slow start like Amity, it is tough to get back on top because the schedule is not forgiving. But thanks to the Board of Education getting Oxford out of the SWC and putting them into the Naugatuck Valley League, which has teams that are much closer to where the school is located, They'll be taking shorter bus rides, and they may even find some other ways to get to games this year. There were times when it got sloppy, when they tried to slow it down. There were a few turnovers, and Farmington was able to get back into the game. So it's going to come down to ball control. I give the edge to Capital Prep. However, that's probably going to be the only change in the UNH and Southern Connecticut State University rivalry this upcoming season. But I know this was a result of people complaining and saying, basically, you know, it's not fair. The playing field in basketball in Connecticut is not leveled, so this aims to correct that. So Coach went on a recruiting spree to bring in some of the best players in the area. And for the results, all you have to do is look at the standings. Foreign high school girls basketball wants some respect. Find out why after this. For Stratford High's Genesis Torres, in the winter, it's basketball. In the spring, it's lacrosse. And in the fall, football? Football. Okay. Yeah, football. Torres says she's never played organized football before, but wanted to challenge herself. Playing football, that's a little different. You don't really hear a girl coming in on the field, you know, playing football. So that was really why I wanted to do it. But that did raise some eyebrows at home. I personally was a little concerned with her being hit and injuries because basketball is her dominant sport. Both her parents are supportive, and they're proud to see their daughter out on the field. Oh, I, th I thought it was great. I mean, I mean, I have a girl out there tackling a couple of boys. You know, I, I would like to see the reaction of boys get tackled, actually. And Genesis remembers that first tackle. During our scrimmage, and um, he was uh, running, running at me, and I just, he was a little bigger than me, so I just went for the legs, take him down like that. Stratford coach TJ Cavalieri has her playing defensive back and some special teams, meaning Genesis can't be scared to hit. Can't really think about it. Her teammates have noticed her efforts and say she's blending really well with the guys. She goes out, gives it her all every day, comes to play each play. I heard the scrimmage we had last week, she had like an interception, a couple of tackles. She comes to play, she's a good athlete. She may even see some time on varsity. For now, she'll be playing cornerback on JV, but things could change. She might have a chance to start on a couple of the special teams, and then, uh, you know, for the, you know, she'll probably be looking to get some serious time on JV, and, and you know, if we have a couple injuries, hopefully not, you know, then she definitely could step right in and at the varsity level. Stratford JV opens up on Saturday against Joel Barlow. Genesis says she's a little nervous, but when it's time to go, she'll be ready. I know I'll be nervous, but I'm going to go out there and play 100%, 110%.